Hi, I'm Stacy family. Welcome anyone else tuning in. Hi, friends. Hey, kids. Uh, in our family, we like to do countdowns to big events. Uh, Lisa, what's the next big event in our family? My birthday! Yeah, your birthday, which is when? November 3rd. Yeah, so we have about a month until your birthday. What are you really looking forward to on your birthday? Presents, cake, everything. Yeah, I really like cake, but I, I think universally almost everybody likes getting presents on their birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah, is your birthday your favorite day of the year? No. No? What's your favorite day of the year? Christmas, and what do your birthday and Christmas have in common? Um, lots and lots of presents. Presents, right? Presents are typically the common theme between birthdays and Christmas, and we're not too far from either of those for you, so you're coming into a pretty good season, which I think a lot of people like to get presents. Did you know that the Bible talks about getting presents and giving presents? No. It does. So in Luke chapter 11, Jesus is talking and it says, he says, which of you parents, if your child asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Is that something that you'd like for your birthday? You want to get a snake? No. No? Or if he asks for an egg, we'll give him a scorpion. Do you want a scorpion? No. No? Those probably wouldn't be good gifts, right? We don't, we wouldn't, most people don't want to get snakes and scorpions. Uh, what are scorpions even? Oh, those are the ones with the pointy tails, and they can they can poke you, they can sting you with their tail. Oh. So they're kind of scary too. If you then, who who are evil, he's talking to, to to all of us, right? Because sometimes we do bad things. We all we all sin, right? So we're all yeah. evil. If you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? him right yeah. so if have you ever gotten a good gift from mom and dad yes yeah can you think of something that that you really like that you got as a gift from mom and dad my coat your coat yeah you did just get a new a new winter coat didn't you yeah yeah and what color is it pink, pink, do you like pink. that color yeah, that's your favorite. Yeah, it's your favorite color. So yeah, mom and dad got you a pretty good gift. It, it covered it covered a need, and it was a pretty nice coat. And we even got it in your favorite color. And if mom and dad, who are sinful by nature, can get you good gifts, do you think God will get you even better gifts because he's he's the perfect parent? Yeah. Yeah. So God will give us give us amazing gifts, but it says that we have to ask for them, right? So earlier in Luke 11, it says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be open. So Jesus tells us that all we have to do is ask God for good gifts and God, who's a perfect parent, will give us the things that we need. Isn't that good to know that, that we'll get the things that we need? Yeah. Yeah. Is there uh, is there something that you're hoping to get for for your birthday or for Christmas? Um, presents. Yeah. Lots and lots of presents. Yeah. Well, we're very blessed. We're lucky to be able to give presents. Is there something in particular you were hoping for that you've been asking for? Uh huh. Yeah. What is something that you're outgrowing that you think you could use next year? A bike. A bike. Right. So. So that would be a, a good gift if you got it, right? Mm -hmm. And if if mom and dad get you a bike, and and mom and dad don't always don't always do the right thing, what do you think God could give us as as an even better gift? His love. His love through whom? His son. Jesus. Jesus, right? God has given us the the best gift ever. And that's in the person of Jesus. And when we get gifts, what do we normally have to do afterwards? What do we say? Thank you. We say thank you, and do we do anything special? Uh-huh. We try and go and give what? Love. Love and hugs, right? We say uh -huh. thank you, and we give hugs when we get gifts. Because we're thankful for for the things that people people do for us. We should do the same thing for God, shouldn't we? 
when he gives us good gifts if if we if we know that God has given us a good gift what should we do to God say thank you and try and show him how much we hug how much we care right yes yeah so we have to remember that God is going to give us good gifts if we ask and how do we ask how do we ask God for things in in prayer will you pray with me mm -hmm. dear God dear God thank you thank you for the gift thank you for the gift of your son Jesus, of your son Jesus. help me help me to show to show that I love you that I love you and that I love Jesus that I love Jesus by showing you by showing you to others to others that don't know you that don't know you help me help me to go to go into the world into the world as your light as your light as your love as your love and as your messenger it is as your messenger to show to show that jesus that jesus is the most perfect gift is the most perfect gift and in jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. And when all God's children prayed together, the devil said, Bummer. Bummer.